Home Alone, regarded as one of the most nostalgic movies of the 90s, just turned 30 years old, which is wild. Guys, it's one of my favorite movies ever. I'm not talking about just favorite Christmas movies. I'm talking favorite movies of all time. I love it so much, and I have accumulated quite the Home Alone collection from toys, games, movies, collectibles, even some rare pieces that I have never heard anybody else talk about. And today we are in a deep dive into my Home Alone collection. Stick around. What is up, Internet? Retro here, and can you believe it? Home Alone is 30 years old, one of my favorite movies ever. Guys, it is not Christmas, officially Christmas, until we watch Home Alone 1 and Home Alone 2. Any of the other movies are not real Home Alone movies, unless it has Macaulay Culkin. That is my rule. But guys, I love this movie so much, and, and all the things I have picked up from all the most random places is pretty crazy, and I'm excited to show you this collection today. Uh, but before we get into it, a couple things. The, the first one is this, okay? There is a great debate in my house. Uh, I agree with my wife on almost everything except this. She says that Home Alone is not a Christmas movie. She says it's not a Christmas movie. I think it is like literally the number one grossing Christmas movie of all time, but she says it's not a Christmas movie because it could happen at any time. It just happens at Christmas. Guys, help me prove her wrong. Tell me down in the comments. Is Home Alone a Christmas movie? I think it 100%, 1000% is a Christmas movie, but you guys tell me your thoughts. I mean, I'm the guy that thinks Die Hard and Gremlin, uh, Gremlins are, are Christmas movies too, but come on, Home Alone, Home Alone is definitely a Christmas movie. And then number two, if you guys are new to the channel and you do love all things uh, 80s and 90s nostalgia from movies, TV, toys, video games, and more, do me a favor and hit that freaking subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss out on new weekly videos. Let's get into it. All right, guys, so the first thing we're gonna look at is my shirt. This is the Battle Plan Home Alone shirt. I got this uh, a while back at GameStop and I knew that I had to have it. This is, is Kevin's master plan on how to, how to punish Harry and Marv uh, while they break into his house. What I always thought was funny about this is Kevin is a little kid. How in the world did he actually set these traps? Some of these traps are like up in the rafters of the ceiling, but somehow this little kid uh, puts together all these crazy traps, but regardless, it's hilarious. And this is this is the battle plan uh, and I love it. I love this shirt so much. Uh, if I'm ever wearing this out in public and someone says, hey man, cool shirt, I'm like, we are friends. You know what the battle plan is. I love this shirt. This is the first thing that I have, and I've had it for a while. I wear it in any of my Christmas uh, type videos. The battle plan, pretty sweet. Next up is this book. Guys, this is Kevin's Christmas Vacation Scrapbook. Now this is kind of a weird uh, oddity piece. It's scholastic. I think this is like uh, a troll book fair type situation. Do you guys remember book fair back at your, uh, at your school? And uh, this is basically the story of Home Alone from Kevin's perspective. And it is a whole book uh, that's like a scrapbook um, from, again, his perspective. Kind of a weird, uh, a weird idea, but uh, yeah, kind of cool. I can't remember where I found this, but guys, I knew that I had to have it because who else in the world has the Home Alone 2 Kevin's Christmas Vacation scrapbook? And then the next book I have is a super nostalgic type item and it is a look and listen book. Do you guys remember these where you have to push the button uh, and then you read, I guess you read certain sections and then whenever you get to that like certain icon, you push the button like leave and this thing works. This thing works. Uh, I did not have this one as a kid, but I did have an Aladdin one, but these things are crazy nostalgic to me. It's made by Rose Art which is also pretty insane, but this thing is, is beautiful and it is displayed proudly on my shelf. Home Alone 2, Lost in New York, the look and listen book. I don't know if there's a Home Alone 1-1, one, 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 but uh, I'm pretty sure there isn't, but check this out. 
it is beautiful. Okay, now let's look at actual movies. Now there are all types uh, of different variants and I collect variants of things because I'm a psycho, but um, a VHS, DVDs, Blu-rays. Now I'm not gonna show you all of those because I have all of those, but those aren't really cool. I wanna show you specific items that are a little bit more uh, notable. The first one is this VHS. Now why this is notable is because it's never been open before. Uh, it still has the 20th Century Fox like stickers on it that it's never it's never been opened before and I think that's cool uh, a lot of people probably don't think that's cool but I'm like dude this is so rad that this is 30 years old and it has never been opened before okay also I think these are really cool and they are laser discs now you might not know what a laser disc is I didn't really know what they were uh, until recently but this is basically the fancy way to watch movies back in the day. Uh, it didn't really gain popularity until like the early 90s and it never really grew legs because it was so expensive to watch laser discs. Uh, just to get the player was hundreds and hundreds of dollars and then these themselves were pretty expensive as well. Uh, I think the main, uh, the main purpose or I guess benefit to these was better quality uh, within the actual film and audio quality, but these things are beautiful. I have both of them, Home Alone and Home Alone 2, of course, and these things are incredible. Let me show you what one of these looks like. They're like basically record sized and they shine. I think these things are so beautiful and I don't really have place for these, a place for these typically to display, but I think they are amazing. Here are my two Home Alone laser discs. Okay guys, now we have some Home Alone 2 trading cards. Yes, there are trading cards of Home Alone back in the 80s and the 90s. Every single movie, every single TV show wanted to merchandise uh, their show or their movie and Home Alone was no different, guys. These are photo cards and stickers and this has never been opened. I need to open them. I want to see what these cards look like but I kind of don't want to at the same time because these are so old and they've never been opened before. But I've thought about getting like thank you cards when people send me something or, or something like that. But I thought about maybe just sending people like trading cards and saying thank you on the card. I thought that might be a, a pretty cool idea. But guys, these are an awesome piece to have in the Home Alone collection. Okay guys, this next piece is hilarious. I'm just looking at it laughing right now. So uh, my my old roommate from college bought me this uh, just recently. His name's Kerry. He's been in some of the past retro hunting episodes and he is a huge nostalgia fan as well. And he said he found this on Etsy. He bought one for himself and he had to get me one. Buzz your girlfriend, woof. Guys, check this out. Buzz's girlfriend, woof. Uh, this thing is incredible. I've had a couple people see it already and they're like, what is that? I'm like, dude, this is from Home Alone. Are you kidding me? You don't know what this is from? Uh, fun fact also, this is actually a boy. I think the story is the art director for the movie. This was his son and they thought it would be too mean uh, and demeaning to put a girl's actual picture, an actual picture of a girl and then make fun of her. So, so they went this route in this is hilarious. I laugh at it every single time I look at it, guys. Buzz his girlfriend, woof. Guys, what Home Alone collection is complete without none other than the talk boy? Guys, I love this thing so much. We all had those toys when we were kids uh, that we wanted but never got. This is exactly that toy for me. I think it was the number one selling toy in 1994. And this was genius by the movie company or whoever it was that created this because this was just a movie prop. And then they ended up making an actual toy of the talk boy. And not only do I have uh, my talk boy finally, but I got it in the box. It took me forever to track down uh, the actual talk boy box. I love collecting um, the actual boxes because you can you can see how the toy was supposed to be used uh, and worked and it's beautiful I love this talk boy, but not only do I have this talk boy, but I also have the clear Transparent blue now what screams 90s more than clear see-through plastic guys remember the clear phones back in the day Well, this took me even longer to track down I never see these and I finally got one last year and then 
I also have the Talk Girl. Now there are different variants of this as well, and I'm gonna get into a, uh, a, an entire video of all of my Talk Boy products because um, really just the Talk Boy and the Talk uh, the Talk Boy watch are the only only Talk Boy products I ever hear anybody talk about, and I actually have quite a few, and I'm excited to make to make that video as well. But here is uh, the Talk Boy pen, and these all these all still work. They make their noises and everything. Uh, and then, guys, I have the Talk Boy watch. Now, I made a whole uh, video review on this guy. I never hear anybody talk about the Talkboy watch, but this thing is beautiful. I wear this at conventions because I'm a nerd, but I think this thing is amazing. All right, now let's talk about the Home Alone video games. Now there are a ton on every platform from Game Gear, uh, Game Boy, NES, Super Nintendo, and I have, I think most of them, but I'm gonna talk about just a couple that are a little bit more obscure or uh, pieces that are a little bit more dear to me in my collection. The first one is this Home Alone uh, for the Game Boy boxed. Now this thing is minty, it looks beautiful, and the only reason why I'm really talking about it is because I never see Game Boy uh, boxed Boxes, and I got this at a convention not too long ago, and I, I knew that I had to have it. Uh, I don't have almost any Game Boy games box, but I had to have it uh, for, for Home Alone. And then also uh, the two Sega Genesis games, Home Alone 1 and Home Alone 2. Now, I grew up on the Genesis. I got a Super Nintendo N64 later, but my first console was the Sega Genesis, and I don't know if it's the best game, uh, the best Home Alone game, but Home Alone 2 was always my favorite. I remember getting this at KB Toys back in the day, uh, and, and I wanted it so bad I used to rent it, and I finally was able uh, to get it. What I think is funny is if you watch, I think it's AVGN, he actually plays the Home Alone games with Macaulay Culkin. Like Macaulay Culkin never played them and then he finally plays them with ABGN on his channel and it was hilarious. You got the wrong house. I didn't order any pizza. Both Super Nintendo games suck. I mean, I thought at least one of them would be good. So I got both of the Genesis games and then also I have Home Alone on the PlayStation 2. Now I don't think this was ever released in the US. Uh, I'm fairly certain uh, and I didn't even know this existed until Ed from Ed's Retro Geek Out, uh, he gifted me this at Retropalooza and this thing looks terrible. I'm sure it's not good, but man, it's Home Alone and I had to have it in the collection. Don't forget the European exclusive on the PS2. No! In the same vein as video games, now most people would not consider this a video game, but guys, the Tiger Electronic Home Alone game. Now, apparently this is pretty hard to get. This is the Home Alone Screaming Kevin edition. I don't know, I've, I've never seen this around, floating around uh, uh, on eBay, they're super expensive, but this was gifted to me by my friend, Jesse. He knew uh, that I love uh, Home Alone and he was like, man, do you have this? I go, no, I don't have that. And I need, I need it, man. I need it in my collection. There's also a Home Alone 2 one. I don't think that one is, is as hard to get, but uh, when he gave me this, I was like, dude, this is, this is amazing. Thank you so much. It's gonna go perfect in my Home Alone collection. Okay, so if you've been watching my channel for, for even just a little bit, you guys know that I love toys from, from the 80s and the 90s. I have a Turbo Man, I have my Ernest and Pee Wee dolls back there. They are amazing. And check this out, guys. There is a Kevin, uh, Screaming Kevin doll that says, holy cow, I can scream. Now, I don't think he works. Uh, here, let me try. Uh, he sounds like he's dying. <laughs> he's trying to work, but uh, this is my Screaming Kevin doll, and it even comes in the box. Again, that's probably my favorite, my favorite part of it because look at this. Look at all the, the graphics, the artwork. Push the button to hear me scream. He did not work at all, but uh, this is pretty sweet to get. This thing looks beautiful on the shelf. Holy cow, I can scream. Okay guys, this next piece I'm pretty sure is a one of a kind item. This was my gift to me from my wife last year at Christmas. Like this was literally the only thing I got from my wife for Christmas last year and I was ecstatic. I don't even know where she got this, but she tracked down a little Nero's pizza box. Just like the movie. 
Are you kidding me? A little Nero's Pizza Box. It says no fiddling around. I don't even remember if that was their slogan or not, but this is where Kevin got his pizza in the movie. The only thing that would ever top this would be like the light that you put on top of your car when you deliver food. I'm not even saying that exists, but that would be the only thing that would top a little Nero's Pizza Box. And the last Home Alone piece that I have in the collection, at least that I can find right now in the game room, is this Home Alone 2 board game. Now, I'm fairly certain that there are multiple Home Alone board games. I think there's actually two Home Alone 2 board games, and this one is is the worst of the two. I think the other one has like like traps and stuff like that, uh, like kind of like at the end of the movie, and this one looks lame. There is nothing going on in this one at all. It says, the first player to collect a complete set of cards shouts yes. Uh, wow, riveting, right? But I have a Home Alone 2 board game. I got this at a thrift store for like two or three dollars, and I have thought uh, for a while that I need to review this. Maybe I'll review this here in the next couple weeks uh, during Christmas because uh, it's probably so terrible and it would just be fun to review, but the Home Alone 2 lost a New York board game. And that is my Home Alone collection, guys. Tell me down below your favorite piece that I have in the collection uh, and also tell me do you like to collect any weird uh, things from tv shows or or from movies i also really love space jam so i have a ton of space jam memorabilia why i don't know but i love to collect for it guys as always thank you for hanging out for watching the video if you would like the video subscribe if you have not already and until next time peace